The St. Regis Mohawk tribe has experienced another harvest season with a variety of produce and an abundance of organic white corn. Wally Ransom, manager of the SRMT Agriculture Program, spoke about the challenges they've experienced and the addition of a combine to help the harvest this year. And I'm almost thinking the way it looks this year is that the corn is gonna actually reach full maturity before we get a frost. So you gotta pick the right time when the moisture level is just right, but before the birds get your corn. Like our program, we really had a taste for it last year of uh, you know uh, how hard it was to get the crop in. So we ended up doing it all ourselves inside and we did it almost all winter. We did the husking. The combine, what it's gonna do, it's gonna pick the ears and it's gonna shell it right in the, in the machine and the cobs and the husks will come out of the back of the machine and the kernels will stay in the machine and you end up with hopefully a really good product at the end. For many people now, food sovereignty is part of the conversation when it comes to the season's harvest and the tribe is approaching this concept from many different angles. Tribal subchief Ken Jock discusses these approaches and the agriculture program's commitment. I think the, the agriculture program does a couple of things. One is that it provides uh, clean, uh, organic food for the community with the Mother Earth eggs and the Mother Earth pork products that are available to the community members here. But also uh, with the vegetables and the white corn, I'm really glad that we finally have a farmer's market here. I mean, we've talked about it for years. What Wally's trying to do is to try to work on, on more of a cooperative uh, relationship with other food producers, farmers in the area, but also with other nations. Uh, with the Onondaga Nation, we're exchanging uh, some of our white corn with some of their heirloom seeds from their seed bank. Um, Seneca Nation, there's also exchanges there. They have a buffalo ranch there. Also trying to build the uh, educational component within the community to help them uh, and have the agriculture program be a resource so community members can come and learn uh, how to do it themselves. But we want it to become a teaching farm where people in the community can come in, take a study in a certain area, and get hands-on experience. At the core of this discussion, there's also a sense of returning to the old way of doing things. SRMT Chief Ron LaFrance talks about this connection to tradition. The community's uh, outlook has changed. I think they see the value in growing their own uh, vegetables. A lot of people are, are concerned about what's going into their bodies. A lot of it has to do with how, how you were brought up. Uh, I know how to preserve food and not, my children do now. Like I bought uh, about 35 pounds of white corn this winter and I taught a friend how to, uh, to wash corn, so now he knows how. And if SRMT's agriculture program continues the awesome work they've begun, food sovereignty will be a tradition that is with us for a long time. I think it's good that young people are realizing, uh, the younger generation, that they can grow their own food. But I think it's also good that they look at, at the old farmers, you know, the people that have been doing this for generations, really, the people that have lived off on their land and learn and that they go and learn those traditional ways of, of growing again. Mm -hmm.